Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a problem where on your iPhone, when you're trying to activate an eSIM where it says eSIM cannot be added. So how do you fix that? We're going to walk you through the step and it should be a quick fix to be able to add your eSIM card. So a couple of reasons why this is happening is because most likely the eSIM that you're trying to activate is already activated on an existing account or it might already be expired and you might not you need a new one. So what you'll do is when you're trying to add an eSIM, right, you go into your settings, go to cellular and set up your cellular for the very first time. If you're doing it on a new iPhone that supports eSIM, you'll see here, you will use a QR code and you'll try to scan it, right? Generally, it should work for you right away. But there's a case where, as you'll see here, it's trying to add this and get eSIM cannot be added. And what can you do? So in order to do that, the very first thing you can do to resolve this issue is go into the setting of an existing phone that has your previous number or using it. You can go to the cellular option here. And then here on the cellular option, if it's an eSIM, it'll say delete eSIM. You click on delete eSIM. Or if you have multiple lines here, you click on the specific one and then click on delete eSIM. So it should look something like this. Let me show you in a second here. So it should look something, this process should look something like this where you can delete the eSIM. So after you deleted the eSIM, you'll come over to your new phone here and try to add it here. Let's click on that and try to add it. Now, if you are adding it and having problems, what you want to do is a network reset. So in this phone you have, you go here to settings, general, and then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You click on that and the very first option reset and we'll do a network reset. But before you do a network reset, what does that do? That basically uh, deletes all of your saved Wi-Fi, any Bluetooth device that you connected previously, and anything network related setting, but it's needed in order to resolve the network issue. But again, if you click on it, it will ask for your passcode and you put in the passcode and you'll finally confirm to do it. And generally this will take about maybe 30 seconds at most a minute. When you do this, this will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, everything will be there. It's just the settings themselves. But again, another troubleshooting step you need in order to set up your eSIM card. And once you're back on, you'll go ahead and try to add it again. And hopefully this time it works. In the case it doesn't work and you're using the code, it's because the code then has expired and it can happen and you need to contact your carrier to give you a new code. Usually they email it to you or if you uh, have a, in person, they'll probably give you a card or something, but you'll need the QR code uh, to be able to activate it. And that's going to be it to resolve that issue. So it'd be as simple as that. Um, again, I hope this video was helpful. So please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.